They strolled the boardwalk as Hurricane Arthur soaked Seaside Park. How do you have fun still in this kind of in this kind of weather? We enjoy each other's company. You know what I mean? We're just here with each other and we're gonna strive through it and we're just gonna you know tough it out and go to the fireworks later. Just make the best of what you got. The Perez family from North Bergen was heading to breakfast. This yeah. is not a rain umbrella you're holding. It's a beach umbrella. I'm at the beach. Some vacation for the Petrinas from Bud Lake in Morris County. Where's the sun? It's going to come out. You have to have a he's positive coming, attitude. It's coming down on the parkway. And my my son, son is on his way down the parkway. That's the only sun right? we're going to be seeing today. <laughs> you make your own fun. Take the kids to the arcade, you play games, you put good movies on. Beachgoers abandoned the sand and flooded the arcade for fun and for cover. Kathy Kirchhoff of Seaside Heights describes what 11 a.m. on July 4th usually looks like. The beach will be packed, people will be running on the boardwalk, riding bicycles, uh, most likely traffic. And one thing that always sticks in my mind this weekend is the parking, the parking fees are astronomical and people pay for it. How high? I've seen, I think, as high as 50 bucks just to park your car. In 2012, Sandy hammered the Jersey Shore. In 2013, an accidental fire burned the boardwalk and several businesses. And it would have been worse if firefighters hadn't chopped up the boardwalk right here to stop the fire from spreading. <laughs> Sawmill Cafe reopened three weekends ago. Weekends were good. And actually, yesterday, we, the boardwalk just got connected between Seaside Heights and Seaside Park. Right. So once we did connect, we saw a stream of people coming down. A good sign. A good, a great sign. We had a, a good day. There seems to be universal optimism here despite this sunless and soggy start to Independence Day 2014. I believe it's going to be a great weekend, you know, a couple more hours, the rain's going to stop. Hopefully we'll have, you know, people are dining, all the hotels are pretty booked. It's going to be pretty good. It'll be promising. Colombia and Brazil World Cup fans found their way to the Surfside Motel. It seemed nothing could dampen their pregame spirits. In Seaside Park, Michael Hill, NJTV News.